I would like to call this segment the King Animal Farm. So over the weekend, uh, Steve King, Republican congressman from Iowa, had some uh, potential prospective presidential candidates from the Republican side uh, come at and <laughs> talk their talk. And uh, they did it in front of uh, uh, about a thousand Republicans, and I guess it was two days worth. Each one got to do their spiel. Uh, you had Ted Cruz, uh, Rand Paul, Carson, Huckabee, Perry, who else was there? Christie, Santorum, and Walker. I'd say that Santorum would play the, 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 the religious angle. Uh, Carson would definitely play the religious angle. Walker played the religious angle. I saw that. Um, uh, Perry would play the religious angle. So you got a lot of people on the religious angle. Obviously, uh, uh, who votes in Iowa is a lot of white evangelicals. Um, they're obviously <laughs> not for immigration reform whatsoever, if I'm not mistaken. Iowa is one of the top five in terms of being the whitest states uh, in the United States. Um, I can't imagine, and of course Jindal, who wasn't there, so we had eight that were there. Uh, Rubio wasn't there, Jeb Bush wasn't there, uh, Mitt Romney wasn't there. Um, Jindal wasn't there. He was having his own religious revival thing, so he's playing the religious angle. So I don't know how many of them can run the religious angle. Then you had the corporatist Christie. Uh, Walker, you could also consider the corporatist. Uh, they did their spiel. Uh, so there's a lot of players that are going on in there. You know, could Huckabee get traction? Possibly. Remember about four or five months ago, they talked about you know, all the moneyed people in the Republican Party getting together and falling in line behind one candidate so they wouldn't have this clown brigade that was going on. So I just mentioned, I think, 11. Uh, then you have a couple other, Mike Pence possibly, you had uh, John Kasich possibly, uh, uh, Pence from Indiana, Kasich, I believe, from Ohio. Um, uh, trying to think, there was someone else offhand I couldn't 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 think of. Uh, but uh, Oh, uh, Carly figure, uh, Farino, um, uh, and then the uh, half-term governor of Alaska, uh, who was not serious whatsoever. <laughs> but the reason why I wanted to bring this up, and I only want to make this kind of short, is that, as again, as I pointed out, this is one of the whitest states in the United States. They're against immigration reform. Probably most of those people who were who were there, um, you know, uh, I don't know how many people are in Ohio, uh, uh, Iowa, three thousand, three million, five million, ten million. I can't remember offhand. Uh, you had maybe two thousand people there. So those are the people who are very engaged in this type of thing. And of course, Cruz was playing to the base. He was saying, "Oh, let's get rid of the IRS." Uh, again, I mentioned th these other people were bringing up their religious angles. So uh, they're. They, they, they're there, uh, and, and of course they're aligned with Steve King. They're you know they're they're, they're not sucking the ring uh, of Steve King, uh, but you know they're paying a little bit of homage there. Uh, Steve King is uh, very much a xenophobe. So uh, the question is, where's the long game in all of this? Where's you know I realize that you got to go through the Iowa caucus, then you got to go to South Carolina, two very very conservative states. You know where's someone who's going to say I ain't going to Iowa? Do you know why I'm not going to Iowa? Because it's not representative of the United States. We've expanded. We're not just a white nation anymore. We've expanded. You know, we, we have, you know, 15%, uh, 13% uh, black population. We need to respect that. It's, it, it's part of the major cities. We need, we need to, to figure out how to make this thing work for, uh, for everyone, not just the people in Iowa. Uh, we have a huge Hispanic population that's growing and growing, and we need to deal with that. We, so we just can't follow uh, what people in Iowa who pay $1,000 to go sit on St Steve King's thing. There are only 1,000 people there. If, if, if there are separate people for each day that 2,000 people showed up, you know, that's not representative of the United States. But all these people went there doing that. Now, the guy like Carson, he could get some traction there. Huckabee, he won, he won it in 2008, so he needs to go back to, to, to win that. Uh, Perry, you know... <laughs> He was a front runner for a while. I don't, you know, he'll fall pretty quickly. Christie's got a long way to go. I do believe that there are some, some uh, 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 indictments that are supposed to be coming out. But getting back to that point, you know, six months ago or so, they were talking about coalescing around one candidate, and this clown brigade, if it keeps going on, they're keep going to keep sucking up to the far right, and then after that, Cruz, uh, Rubio, no, Cruz, um, uh, uh, Rand Paul. Uh, and Rubio um, 
showed up at the, uh, and Walker showed up at the Koch brothers thing. So uh, they're going to they're going to be sucking uh, the far right extreme end end of the Republican Party. And the question is 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 how much traction will that actually get come election time? Uh, because uh, uh, Obama won pretty handily both times. Second time he didn't win quite as much, but his electoral college victory was very very strong. The road to road to 270 for a Republican is very very weak, based on them going to the far far right. Uh, so you know, and and then the reason why I called it the King Animal Farm is they're coming up there, they're coming up there, they're spouting all this nonsense that you and I know will not work in the general election. But you know, it's the road that they have to take. But I'm just saying, why do they have to take that? They know that it's not the way that they can be for the general election. Why can't you say that right now? That I'm not going to go to Iowa. I'm not going to play to this King Farm routine. This King, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do that. That's what I wish that they would do. I wish that some Republican would have the short and curlies to go ahead and say that and not go out after that, not go to Iowa, right? Because a Republican can't win. And, and, and again, uh, 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 in my humble feeling, uh, we're not going to elect a Republican a candidate in 2016 who is not going to want comprehensive immigration reform. We're not going to elect a Republican candidate in 2016 who does not believe in marriage equality. We are not going to elect a Republican candidate in 2016 uh, who is a climate change denier. And, you know, that's what they all were doing back there in Iowa. So I don't know where it's going, but it could be a fun ride for a while.